الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد. So I wanted to talk about in this hadith of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم about the importance of following the Prophet's Sunnah. And we know that this is the what? This is the second condition for having our deeds accepted. And the first condition for having all of our deeds accepted is having ikhlas, having sincerity, sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in this regard, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا أَتَاكُمُ الرَّسُولُ فَخُذُوهُ وَمَا نَاهَكُمْ عَنْهُ فَأَنْتُهُ and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Qur'an, and whatever the messenger was sent with or has commanded you with that you should follow, and whatever he has prohibited you from, you should stay away from. So this shows us again the importance of following the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In a hadith that was narrated by Abu Huraira, on Abi Huraira radiallahu anhu, And let's see, this hadith actually was not Abu Huraira, or actually this is a hadith Abi Huraira, sorry. An Abi Huraira radiallahu anhu, and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal, Kullu ummati yadkhunun al janna illa man aba. Kila wa man ya'ba ya Rasulullah, qala man ata'ni dakhla al janna, wa man asani faqad aba, huwahu Bukhari wa Ahmed. In this hadith that was collected by Abu Huraira, who was a companion of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he asked the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, or the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to Abu Huraira, "All of my ummah, all of my community, meaning all those who follow Islam, will enter paradise except those who refuse." And then Abu Huraira asked, Who would refuse, O Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam responded by saying, Whoever follows me will enter uh, Jannah, will enter paradise, and whoever uh, whoever is disobedient to my sunnah and doesn't follow my sunnah is the one who is refused. And this hadith was collected in uh, Bukhari and in Ahmed. What we gain from this hadith is that it is a condition for entering paradise that you follow the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and it is a condition to enter paradise to follow the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa taala that we have ikhlas in everything that we do. All of these, these are again the two conditions in order to have our deeds accepted, and they are the conditions. For us to get to paradise. And everyone who is obedient to the Prophet ﷺ, this is a sign that they love the Prophet ﷺ. When you're obedient and you follow his sunnah, you follow his commands, like for example, uh, the Prophet ﷺ has ordered us to be obedient to our parents. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered us to be obedient to our parents. That means that's from the sunnah of the Prophet because he commanded that. The Prophet ﷺ has ordered us to not break into new groups, that we should follow his sunnah and not do anything new in the religion. So that means if we stay away from those things, we're following the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ. And the Prophet ﷺ has ordered us as men to grow the beard. When you become old enough and you're able to grow a beard, that you shouldn't cut your beard. This is from the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ. Uh, also, also, the Prophet ﷺ has asked us to do many things uh, and, and, and to follow his, his way. And this is our way to get to paradise. So I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most beneficent and the most merciful, to forgive us and bless us all with the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa